Hi, I'm Paige from AG Draw, and we're going to do a tutorial on how to fine line a cheese. So when I fine line, I use a 0.2 Gothic multi-liner pen. It doesn't matter what size or what kind of fine line you use, but I find with the Copic one, uh, my marker doesn't smudge all over the place, or at least not as much. So, my fine line, I first just go over the lines necessary. want to make sure you get it right. Because the fine line is really important. Start with the hair first, or at least the hair that's um, in front of the face. Because you don't want to draw the head outside of the hair. finished the basic outline of it, so I'm just going to erase all the pencil. Be careful um, when you're erasing, because I probably shouldn't be erasing right now. And sometimes it will smudge because the ink is still wet. Smudge is not Make sure you got every single pencil mark off of the paint because when you start coloring, if you have the tiniest bit of pencil, it smudges and then it ruins the color. And it always happens to the face for me, so it always smudges the face and you just use this big gray blob. So, um, once you're done erasing, you just add any missing lines. Sometimes there is, there is a cake stain. Uh, 
for the page so it's not as dark. So I'm going to make some lines a bit thicker because when you make lines thicker, it adds more interest and then it's not just plain. Find the most important place to make your lines thicker is near the face. So or at least if you feel like it, just make sure you make the lines a little bit more interesting. And that way you're drawing it with much clearer. Sometimes I get too lazy to do this, but it's And you don't have to go over every single line, it's just, when you go over some, it just pops up. So, while you're fine lining, it's really the best time if you want to add details, because then, uh, like, pencil, you're just going to erase anyways, so when you just add details while you're fine lining, it'll, it'll just work better, it's which lines are actually there, so you're not fine lining something that is not going to be there. So, I'm going to, to add some things on the socks. It's just a small piece. And when you're doing this, since it is folding, it's not all connected. So you just keep it, you just follow the fabric that's on the bottom, and just follow what that has done, and then it'll look like it's actually, the fabric's actually folded. So it's ruffled. And then, If you actually need to spend some time and work on the line line, it'll just make you feel better. So, it also makes your lines sharper. Yeah. That's what it's doing. It doesn't have to be sharp, but
And with that, I just finished fine lining this chibi. Thanks for watching my how to fine line a chibi tutorial. Uh, please check out my other drawing tutorials on pagedraw.com and check out my Facebook. Thank <laughs> you.